When using unemployment data, it is important to take note of its recurring patterns. This video helps you understand trend movements of unemployment over time. Seasonal patterns exist in unemployment. For example, in Singapore, unemployment is usually higher in the middle of the year, when graduates enter the labour market and students look for vacation jobs. Later in the year, unemployment will fall as graduates find work and students return to school. Therefore, in a normal situation, unemployment will typically rise from March to June and drop from June to September. This recurring pattern, or what we call seasonal pattern, makes it difficult for us to tell if the change in unemployment is a true reflection of economic conditions. To correct for this, most national statistical agencies usually adopt a technique called seasonal adjustment to remove the seasonal influences so that we can see the underlying trends more clearly. So how do we use the different types of data? Seasonally adjusted data are what people generally look at to get the trend movement from quarter to quarter. When comparing non-adjusted unemployment data, it is more appropriate to make comparisons between the same period across years. It would not be appropriate to compare non-adjusted unemployment data between quarters. Neither is it appropriate to compare non-adjusted data for one quarter with seasonally adjusted data for another quarter. At times, we need to compare the economic performance across years and to measure unemployment for the whole year. For this, we refer to the annual averages of non-seasonally adjusted unemployment data collected at quarterly intervals. Preliminary unemployment figures are published in the Quarterly Employment Situation Release, while updated figures are released in the Quarterly Labour Market Report. These publications can be accessed on our website, where you can view other related modules in this series and obtain key statistical findings on the labour market in rich infographics and videographics.